Vito, we got a lot of new products coming in around something I'm not very familiar with. Theo, file. I mean, we got powders, we got yeast. Tell me more about it. All right, let's dig into it. So there's a new topic out there, at least new to me. And I, you know, I want to learn more about it. And that's the great part about having a Vito because he's a wealth of information. So I think they're called Thiels or Thiles? Yeah, it looks like Thiel, but it's actually pronounced Thiel. Um, and, and what it is, is it's a, a, a sulfur and organic compound. So it's, it's an aroma. Uh, you, you hear about them a lot in hops, but it, you know, malt has Thiol precursors in it as well. And it could range from anything from like uh, citrus to, to garlic and even coffee. Um, one of the best examples I could give of a, of a thiol is um, you know, natural gas has no odor, but we add a thiol to it in order to be able to smell it. So that is a, you know, that's a classic example of a thiol. Oh, that's really cool. Definitely smelled that before. So one of the hottest new things that we're carrying is this thiol boosting powder with a pretty cool name, but what is it and why is it so hot right now? So when I first heard about Phantasm, I thought, you know, it's a new hop compound like a cryo hop or just another way to do that. It turns out it's actually, um, you know, from Sauvignon Blanc grapes. So it's a, a grape derivative uh, that is high in these, these thiol boosting uh, compounds. So that's pretty cool because I thought it was a cryo hop as well or, or something like that. So as a home brewer, how do we use it? When do we add it? So when do we add it? Um, you add it during flame out with your, with your Whirlpool additions. Um, we want the yeast to biotransform and, and metabolize it. So this is a precursor compound, and then we free the thiol and turn it into an aromatic compound. Free the thiol. Free the thiol. So okay, I'm starting to get these things a little bit. So we're using them with a heavily hop beer, one what we're doing at flame out or Whirlpool, and you know IPAs probably more than anything else. So are we doing any yeast strain or particular ones? That's a great question. So there's you know, certain yeast strains that, you know, basically it's a gene of how they process that. Some are better at freeing the thiols and, and releasing them. Um, there were studies done around that. There was selective breeding to, to make those. And then even more recently, they've genetically modified yeast strains to promote that gene and the processing of thiol. So there is specific yeast, uh, but then any yeast does, you know, free the thiol. Let's go over a few here. At least you told me a few, so I, I grabbed them. Yeah, so Omega is, is the ones that are kind of leading this charge. Um, my first interaction with, uh, with this was with Berkeley Yeast, a local lab, and I had to sign an NDA to even like work with this yeast when I was a commercial brewer. Um, and it basically put off like guava aromas without any hop, you know, it was just amazing to me that you're producing these fruit aromas, not flavors, let's make that clear. These are all aromas, not flavors. Uh, but Omega's making some great ones. They've got like an English strain, a lager strain, a, a classic Cal Ale strain that are, uh, will boost your thiol production, you know, cause this is, this is a precursor the yeast biotransform it and then free the thiols and then it becomes an aromatic compound. So it's gonna increase the, the fruity, um, especially with, with this one, think guava, passion fruit, tropical flavors. But you know, thiols can come from all kinds of things. So it's, you, know, you can play with this yeast and different, uh, different uh, compounds on the, on the front end. Sounds delicious. Yeah. Okay, so let me get this all straight in my head. We add our hops like we normally do. And that's like kind of the base of what aromas we're gonna really be getting out hop-wise. But then we add this Thiel boosting powder, in this case, Phantasm, mm -hmm. and that's gonna up it that much more. And then we add in one of these yeasts specifically designed to free the Thiel, and we take these aromas to the next level. Do I have that right? Pretty much, yeah. You're gonna have huge passion fruit, guava, these tropical aromas with this uh, Sauvignon Blanc grape precursor. So essentially you could do any of them without each other and still make great beer and still tons of aroma, but not the same as doing this one, two, three punch. Yeah, you're gonna get the most, you know, they say two to 300 and even in some cases 500 times the amount of, of freed thiols. Sounds delicious. We're gonna have to brew one of these. I think we should. We're naming it Free the Thiol. 